Hello folks, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing very fantastic myself and I'm not kidding when I tell you this story. I mean, it's been developing for a couple of years now, but you know, now, lately, I'm, I'm just interested in the story even more because of the team he's in right now, man. <laughs> man, this player, man, Ashton Higgins, I think some of you know about him. Some of you may not, actually most of you probably don't know about him, but if you've been following high school basketball, you probably know about him as he was a very a highly sought after prospect in high school. Mr. Basketball, Gatorade Georgia Player of the Year. This man was basically a very high ranking point guard and he did go to college, but <laughs> he went to college pretty early, okay? Usually when you're in high school, you have a senior year you go through. This is the last year and this is where a lot of recruits come in and they say, okay, yo, you want to come to our school? Well, Higgins himself, he was so good in fact that he got an offer from Georgia earlier in his high school and he decided to commit to going to Georgia back then so that he could go there in 2019 after he would graduate from his senior year. As it turns out, the following year, he had mixed feelings about it. So he decided to decommit from Georgia into his junior year and he committed himself instead to going to Kentucky. But not only that, he went to Kentucky earlier than he should have. He went and played for Kentucky in 2018. So he skipped his senior year. When I see something like that, it, it, it makes me go, what? Like, why would you do that? The senior year, he skipped it. So he went to Kentucky earlier on and he was teammates with Emmanuel quickly, like I put in the title. And then Tyler Hero was also there in his first year. And you had guys like Keldon Johnson playing. He was basically in a team where uh, from what I can tell, he didn't really do much that first year in Kentucky. And his second year, 2019, 2020 season, it's funny because he was starting more games over quickly that first year. Come to the second year, well, things didn't look as promising for him as quickly just leaped over him, scoring more points. He was the leader in points per game. And you had Tyrese Maxey coming in his first year. He was having more touches. Look, Ashton Higgins just he was not the guy in Kentucky and I began to feel bad when I noticed that there was a game he missed and that game was against Florida and <laughs> he did not miss it because of an injury he actually missed it uh, for personal reasons yeah so beforehand he was struggling with his shooting he was not feeling good about himself and you could see you know words being exchanged between him and a teammate and you know a lot of you know heated moments happened during that stretch and so he didn't play against florida calipari comes out saying that there are some things that's happening right now with him he needs to go and take some time off and we support him 100 percent it wasn't anything you know derogatory said and thankfully that's the case because you know that would have been even worse of a situation look he has to take some time off at that point if he's not feeling it mentally when you're in a rut look why would you force your player to play at that point he's clearly going through it he's clearly struggling out there and it'd be best if he took some time off and got himself in a better rhythm and the fan base in Kentucky seems to have supported him for the most part but you still had people saying he has to grow up he has to be more mature than this and there is some truth to that but this is not it guys it really has to do with him going to Kentucky this early you could tell that uh, it was a mistake for him to go to Kentucky this early in his career look he should have gone to Georgia that's what many people are saying when they look at his career when they look at what's happened in his career and Georgia during the 2019-2020 season had a player named uh, Anthony Edwards yes the first pick yes he could have played alongside Anthony Edwards and he could have had touches himself with a shooting guard like Anthony Edwards it's, it's, it's insane to think about now you could have been playing with number one pick and you yourself could have been the top pick in the draft yes he was not drafted <laughs> He declared for the draft in April 2020. Okay, COVID happened, of course, but the draft did happen later on. And look, the draft happened and he was not drafted. And so he had to go to the Summer League. He was given a chance to play in the Summer League. And the Timberwolves ended up signing him. Okay, the Timberwolves, not bad. Yeah. You, got, you got yourself a roster spot. Okay, so he's now playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves to begin the season. Finally, an NBA team is giving him an opportunity to show himself out there. And obviously, 
he wouldn't get that many minutes. He, I think, got two minutes in a two-game stretch where he did not do anything other than turn the ball over. And <laughs> as bad as that may be, look, you have to think about it. He's not being given that many minutes. And uh, there are certainly things that the Timberwolves could have done better in that aspect. So they sent him to the G League. Okay, that's cool. You still have chances to prove yourself to NBA scouts. You still have chances to show how good of a player you are. But unfortunately for him, he shoots himself in the foot once again. And this is where his immaturity comes into play. And boy, oh boy, this one was serious, okay? He played with fire right here. He violated, along with four other people, the COVID safety protocols. I know this is very serious, especially at a time where last season, 2020, late 2020, you just came off a lockdown type scenario in many states many countries and you're trying to get back to normal the vaccine rollout hasn't happened yet so you're still making sure that you follow the rules as neatly as you can of course you're making sure of that today but today is much easier the rules are much more laxed than they were last year if you guys remember these nba players man they had to stay in their apartments they had to stay and make sure that they didn't go out and do anything frivolous anything crazy and unfortunately, that's what happened. He went out and he got fined 10K. And not only that, the Timberwolves uh, took it so seriously and rightfully so that they waived him. So he was no longer an NBA player. Not only that, he was no longer in the G League. So now his chances at going back to the NBA, his chances of having a career went from in high school uh, being almost a guarantee to now uh, people aren't so sure anymore. He's only going to get older at this point. He's 21 at this moment. And thankfully for him, another opportunity comes knocking. And what do you know? <laughs> it's the Raptors coming in saying, look, uh, you can play for our summer league team. And unfortunately for him, this is not even his fault this time. But yeah, he had an ankle injury that he's been dealing with. So he couldn't play in the summer league in Vegas. So he didn't get to show the Raptors how good of a player he actually is. And so at that point, uh, the Raptors uh, waived him during the preseason so that he could go and join their G League affiliate, the Raptors 905. Now, <laughs> this is where we get to the story uh, that's still developing. So today, as of now, when I'm recording this video, I think this video is going to come out the following day. So yesterday from the day this is uploaded, the Raptors 905 are playing the Long Island Nets and boy, he did not play a single minute. Hagen's still dealing with that ankle injury and it's pretty sad to see because his window of opportunity is getting that much smaller and he's getting that much older to where scouts are going to be less inclined to picking him up and looking into him because well at that point there's going to be younger guys to come in from the draft and there's no point in you know seeking out a you know aging player so to speak and the player that's been quite immature during his time in his career, in his basketball career. Look, it's really sad to say, but a lot of this was self-inflicted. A lot of what's been going on with Ashton Higgins and his career is because of the decisions he took. He could have been a draft pick. He could have been in a team that thought that he would be a good role player. He was co-defensive player of the year, I think, when he was in Kentucky. That's how good he's been. That's how good he was. Look, this guy can play basketball, but he keeps shooting himself in the foot and I think that must have resulted in him getting an ankle injury because man, it's hard for things to go your way when you keep messing it up for yourself and you know, things are going to happen, bad things are going to happen that are unintentional freak accidents you could say. And man, not only is this ankle injury just making it worse for him, making it unlikely that he's going to even be in the NBA team anytime soon, but he's making sure of it himself by doing these stupid things. And that's about all we can say about the man himself. Will Higgins bounce back and revitalize his career? Will things go his way and will he stop making stupid decisions? Find out next time on Basketball Z! <laughs> Shout out to the DJ Mitch Mitch, man. That guy is lit. He's a legend. Also, Stunted Growth made a video that was much more detailed about Higgins and what went wrong in his development. And he has way more to say about the matter as he really did follow him closely. So I suggest you watch that video. It's in front of you on your screen right now. And if not, then go to the link in the description. I'll make sure to put that there too. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>